Hello everyone. This is June 24th, 2021, 10.30 a.m. A beautiful Thursday morning. It's already 21 degrees. So we're looking at a wonderful day. And today, if you know the area, you can tell I'm in Clayton Park. And I'm gonna start here with the Clayton Park Plaza and do a little tour around Clayton Park. Haven't covered this area yet since I've been in Halifax three years. And I've been up to Clayton Park, but I haven't done a video here yet. It'll be my very first one. So hope all goes well. And we get a nice video here. There we go, all leveled up now. So I'll just turn a little bit so you can see the stories and things that are in here. This is a really nice plaza. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'll just hold my phone in a way that you can see all the stories that are in here as I walk around. A lot of plazas, you can't do something like that because somebody will come out and uh, tell you to stop. But this is a small plaza, so I'm not anticipating any behavior like that in here because it's a small, small place. And if that happens, well, that's too bad. But I don't think it will because this is not that kind of a... Uh, uh, place where I'd have to worry about that. The big plazas where they got security vehicles driving around, they're just looking for something to bother people about. So they're kind of iffy, but this place here is all right. I'm pretty sure we can do a video of Clayton Park Plaza without any trouble. All right. Well, we finally got clear of that rain. It went out yesterday morning and cleared off to a beautiful day. I was out, but I didn't make a video because I just needed a break. I, I'd been out a couple of days before that and the day before, so I thought I'd take it one day off. But I'm back at it again today. So we're gonna try to cover this whole plaza first and then we'll take a walk down the street. This is pretty much the the heart of the heart of late of uh, uh, of, of uh, uh, Clayton Park. There we go. The name all left me there for a minute. This is pretty much the center of Clayton Park. This plaza and Clayton Park's been here for a long time, but not the way you see it now. It's grown over time to, to become a, uh, it, it was part of Halifax, but Clayton Park in itself, the area has really grown and a lot of stores and buildings and stuff going up here. Okay, so we'll have to look at the plaza that way before we, I'll come back down through again because there, there's stuff on my other side you haven't seen. So that basically Shoppers Drug Mart and that's about it over there. So we'll walk down this way, and now we'll crisscross back across and show you the, whatever's down here. A little bit of a breeze today, but I don't think it's enough to hamper anything. Just a little bit of a breeze, not a whole lot. So my son's working today, so I had to drop him off. He's up in the area here. He's, he's down in Spryfield. And not much of a jog across Dunbach to, to get here. So I decided to come over here and walk around and make a little video. And then I gotta go back and pick, pick him up when he's all finished his work today. I'm not sure how long he'll be. Could be a while. Could be three hours, could be five hours. You never know when he goes in there to do what he has to do, how long it will take him. 
So, in any event, I'm on, I'm on call to go back and pick him up whenever he's done. Well, I started out right up here before, but I went down the other side. So this time we're going to go right straight up and maybe out onto the road that way, which I'll walk over to the sidewalk and then we'll take the, we'll take the curve that way. <coughs> All right, there's another part of the plaza up there. And see, we got a subway, an M&M food market, some place they call it M&M meat market, but it's a food market, and a uh, grocery store, and, and Indian grocery store, Shaw, Shaw Groceries. All right, there's a little gas station. And McDonald's is here, and Tim Hortons, and all that stuff. And there's a, just across the street, there's a, a bit of stuff here too. There's a Sobeys, and I'm not sure if there's anything else in there or not. It might be. We could take a walk in, I guess. We got nothing better to do. Take a walk in there and have a look. Yep, we just might as well walk in through and look at this place and then we'll come back out and walk up the hill. That sounds like a good idea. I might as well wait now for the rotation of the lake because we wouldn't have time to get across anyway. So there's Sobeys, big supermarket. I think there might be a couple of other things in here. There's a button. I forgot to push it. There, just in time. Just in time or we'll lost my my chance to get across. Green light, let's go. Get across the street before it changes. It don't last very long. I find in Halifax that happens a lot. The, the before you ever get across the street, there's, there's, God, it's run, it almost run out before you get across it. But that's the way it is. So you can see all that's up in here is Sobeys, it looks like, Sobeys store. So that's about it for here. And well, we'll go back out and walk up the street. So you got a tour of the plaza. It looks like farther down there, there might be some more stores, but that's okay. We basically covered the, the Plaza area. Well, I was familiar with Clayton Park a long time ago because my my uncle and my aunt used to live in Clayton Park, but it was much smaller then than it is now. They lived on Lacewood, and, but the Clayton Park was like small. It hadn't grown like it is now. It's a very busy place now. A lot of people live up here. So I got a lot of learning to do too here because I hardly ever come up to Clayton Park. And 
mostly because I live in Dartmouth. But anytime I go to a store, it's usually over in Dartmouth. Or I come over to Halifax quite often, but Clayton Park, not so much. So right now I'm on the corner of Willard and Lacewood. We'll walk up Lacewood because I think there might be some things up there. Lacewood is the main drive up, up to Clayton Park anyways. And so we'll just continue on up to Lacewood. Well, it will take you over to Main Street and that direction. Well, I gotta walk now, I guess I better go. Go while the getting's good, huh? I got a shirt on over my t-shirt, but I didn't need it. But it's mainly for the pockets. I parked my car in Glasgow and I didn't want to carry my backpack around, so I just put the things I might absolutely need in my pocket. My wallet, the car keys, the mask, a spare one in case. You always with these paper masks, you guys you always got to carry two in case you tear one. How about you? Do you ever have one of those white with the blue front paper kind of mask and you just put it on and one of the strings tears off of the mask? Brand new mask, but it had a flaw in it and the string tore off. That happened to me a couple times. So now I try to take two with me. In case one tears off, I can put the other one on. So we're walking up the hill on Lacewood, see what's up here. Maybe only houses. I'm not familiar with it up much up past here. There's a apartment area or condos, could be both. These walls are a very common sight in Halifax because everything's got a hill. You go down the hill from the front of your house, you go uphill. And so there's a lot of these barrier walls to hold the ground back and make it a little easier instead of coming right down over a steep hill. They put a wall in and fill it in and make it a little easier to move the grass. And Things like that. They're very common sight here. On my street, there's a lot of them. Not every house has one, but at least half of them have one of those walls to hold the, the air so it's not so steep up and down the hill. This is a unique thing to have on the side of the sidewalk. It looks like an electrical panel. Probably to those buildings up in there. But you hide, I don't think I've ever seen one before on the sidewalk, or right, right beside the sidewalk. They're usually in, around the buildings. I'm starting to wish I would have traveled just a little bit lighter and left my shirt. 
because it's quite warm out here. It was 21 when I left, and it's about 23 degrees up here now. We were lucky with that big storm that went by. It missed us by 500 kilometers off the coast. And all we got was some rain, and it wasn't even that bad. It was rained enough, you could get wet, but it wasn't a heavy downpour. We got like the edge of the storm. That's all we got. And there was a few sprinkles yesterday morning, then it all blew over and the sun came out. And today, I don't think there's any rain. And I think tomorrow is a good day. I looked at it earlier, but sometimes you look too far ahead. You get confused after what's, what it said. Why do I, if I read like three days weather and then I, a couple hours go by and I go, hmm, what was that third day? That, well, that's kind of like that. But I know tomorrow's okay. Good day to get out. There's a trail up through the power lines. I'll bet you that's a shortcut to somewhere. In there is the Lacewood bus terminal. The buses, all the buses that come up this way, go in around there and stop, drop passengers off, take on passengers. Something like your bridge terminal in Dartmouth, but probably not as busy as that. But it's, nevertheless, it's Clayton Park terminal. Or, I think it's called Lacewood, Lacewood Terminal. Because I see the sign right over there. If I zoom up, you can probably read it. Lacewood Terminal. So we're still continuing on Lacewood. I gotta put in some time today, so I might as well make myself useful and do a video. Somebody requested me to, to walk around Clayton Park once, and I never got to it, but today seemed to be the opportunity today, so I thought I'd better grab it while I'm right in the area. And take a walk up through Clayton Park. Maybe I can show you how it's grown quite a bit over the years of buildings. It wasn't even here when, when I was here. That, when I was here, it was back in the 70s. And so, there's a lot of this stuff wasn't even thought of back then. Don't walk. I got a red hand with the light screen, so that should do. And this right there is a sports complex, which I will tell you the name of it when I get down there.
I think it had something to do with the uh, Canada Games. I might even be named Canada Games Center. But it had something to do with that when we built. I got to do something in 2015, not many people in Canada had a chance to do. And that was go down to the Pan Am Games. We don't have it in, in, in uh, Canada very often, but it was in Toronto in 2015. And I still got my hat from there. It's kind of a unique looking hat. It says uh, Toronto 2015 on the back, and then on the side I got a little thing sewed on. It says uh, Pan Am Games, and on the front it's got a Canadian flag, and yeah, that is one of a kind. You'd have to have been to the Pan Am Games to get that hat. So there's probably there are not too many of them around here. All right, what is this place called? It's called. It's called... Uh, I gotta get closer to see what it's called because I think it's something to do with the, with the Canada Games. But I'm not 100% sure. There's Dutchworth Apartments, I guess. Okay, maybe we'll get a, uh, yes, it is uh, the Canada Games Center. Canada Games Center, that's what that is right there. There's a library up here somewhere too, it might be the next building. Might be. I'm not sure. I know we was there. We dropped a couple of people off at the library one morning, and it, it was up here. But I'm just not sure if it's that building over there, or if it's back in there somewhere. That was like <laughs> two years ago. We are now on the corner of Stratford and Leishwood. And there's the Canada Games Center right down that road and it's right over there. Okay. Well, I can't remember who it was. One of the one of my viewers on YouTube wanted me to do a walk through Lace through uh, Clayton Park. So I hope I can make you happy with this walk. And uh, anybody else that wants to see Clayton Park, I hope you enjoy this little walk up through here. This right here is a funeral home, the J.A. Snow Funeral Home, which we will be passing that sign shortly. Right. Well, 
the J.A. Snow Funeral Home. So we'll walk up here. There's a little more business as his death up this way. So I guess I came the right direction. I can't cover all of Clayton Park on foot because it's too large an area, but this seems to be the center of Clayton Park, the hub, if you will. So we'll stick to this, and hopefully you'll enjoy this video. I enjoy walking. I just love getting out and walking. I don't care where I walk, as long as I walk and, and uh, try to put on. My goal is a minimum of 15,000 steps. And if I can get 20 and above, that's great. But if I don't get 15, I feel like I've not done enough walking. Here comes a lady with a stroller. I'll walk in the grass, give her enough room to walk by with that stroller. And there we go, back out on the sidewalk. It don't take much energy to step out of the way and let somebody go by with a baby stroller or somebody with a walker, or a crutches, or a wheelchair, or a scooter. Because they all need to go places too. I just, every time I see somebody like that, I'm just thankful that I, I can walk. Because I had a, a stack of, not plywood, it was that, uh, that, Pressed, press board. That's like plywood, but it's wood uh, pieces pressed together. It's heavier than plywood. I had a stack of that fall over on my knee back in 1999 when I was driving for Fast Track, which is part of Day and Ross. And I was laid up for a very long time after that. I still got four screws in my left knee. So I'm thankful when I'm, I can get out and walk because I could have gone the other way. And it took a lot of work just to be able to bend my knee after the surgery. But anyway, we got through it and, and there's the inside of a, a phone box along the road in case you want to see it. Okay, we're crossing now to, let's go across here. We'll see what's in this. There's a little plaza right here. We'll take a look at this plaza. And it's called, I'll tell you shortly. I don't know the name of it because I don't think I've ever been in that plaza. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Oh well. There's a Swiss chalet in there though. I'm not even gonna think about it. No time for food. I love Swiss chalet. But I'm not even gonna think about it. I'm all by myself, it wouldn't cost that much. But now I'm gonna keep on going. Not even gonna entertain those thoughts. We'll keep right on going making this video and pretend I didn't see Swiss Chalet. I don't know if I gotta push the button maybe. Okay, now it's gonna, oh, this side's gonna go first. And then we'll go across and into that plaza. Busy little corner right here. It's busier than downtown in some towns. Some little villages with a 
four corners and a store. Yeah, it's busy right here in this, this little corner in those type of places. There was a lot of places like that in Ontario. You think Ontario's heavily populated, but there's a lot of communities where you drive down a straight road for about 20 miles, and then you come to a crossroad. Right on that intersection, there'll be a, a store. If you're lucky, there might be a coffee shop. And then nothing again for another 20 miles, or kilometers, whatever you, whatever you want to say it in. I was around before we had kilometers, so sometimes I revert back to my old ways and I say miles. This place here is called Eastwood Square, as you will see shortly here. Get right up to the top of the sign. There we go, almost there. Almost there, there we go. Lacewood Square, three, looks like 62 Lacewood. 362 Lacewood, Lacewood Square. So do you wanna take a walk in there with me? I'm almost up to the highway now, so there won't be no point in going bit much beyond this. So we might as well go in and see what's in Lacewood Square. Then I'll head back down to where I left my car. I think the other one was called Lace, um, not sure, Lacewood Plaza. I'm not sure. I looked at it, but oh, I don't know. It must be my age. I just can't. Sometimes I try to pull something out, and nah. Not there. But I think it was. But this one is Lacewood Center. Looks like a big place because they got a Home Depot in here. And a medical center. I've never been in here before. This would be my very first time walking into the Lacewood Center. So. If you're seeing it for the first time, I'm in good company because it's my first time. Possibly we drove by here, maybe in the car on our way to the highway or something, but maybe, can't say for sure. It's getting warm. Well, I'm stuck with my shirt. I could take it off, but then I'd have to carry it. So, and there's stuff in the pockets. I might lose something. My car keys or my wallet or something. So I guess I'm gonna have to endure it. Keep it on for now. So we'll walk right up through, and then I'll come back around that way, past the Mr. Lube and the medical center. But we gotta cross the street though, cause there's a sidewalk over there. And there's, that you can see there's no sidewalk there. So better to take the sidewalk. All right. We shall go this way. This is exploring for me as well. I've never been in here first time right now. So you, my viewers, know as much about this as I do. However, when we're both, when we're done the walk, you'll be as wise as I am. We'll both know what's in here, the Lacewood Center. Some things are called Lacewood something and some are called Clayton Park something. It's all the same place. It's Lacewood Street, Avenue Street, and it's in Clayton Park. So, it's not that Lacewood and Clayton Park are two different places, or it got two names. Lacewood is the street, Clayton Park is the, the community. All right, so over in there is where the dentist is, 
a nail shop, an optometrist, and things like that. And I think the Swiss Chalet is right there in the end, that building right there. Which I'm going to ignore because I love Swiss Chalet, but I'm not going to go in. I got things to do today, I got work to do. So I am going to stick with this. Home Depot always has a lot of plants and shrubs and things for decorate your yard. There was a Home Depot in Ontario I used to go to quite often, and it was, it looked almost like this one. It was had a, had a garden center on the end, and it was quite big too, like this is. And they also had two rental. I guess they're all probably the same everywhere. And you see one, you see them all. Be safe and don't use our online shopping and create side pickup. So that was before they opened things up. Okay. All right, we'll walk through here. And we'll walk down. Somebody text me, but sent me a message or something, but I really do have to get that second phone because I don't want to disturb my video when somebody sends me a message. I have to just ignore it until I get done my video. So, maybe soon. You know what it is, I have to go out of my way and I have to spend two or three hours, a couple hours in there anyway. Depends on how busy it is. And then they have to transfer everything over from this phone to the new phone. And that all takes time, you gotta wait around. Then I have to go down to the place where they sell the cases, buy a new case, find one I like, and put my phone. By the time I get out of there, I'm like two or three hours gone by. So I guess that's why I'm not in any hurry to do it, although I want to do it. I know it's gonna take up all morning somewhere getting my phone, getting it programmed and charged and signing all the stuff I got to sign and all that stuff. Yeah, it, it, I'll, be, I'll be tying up my morning with it. So that's a good reason to keep postponing it. There's Mr. Lube, they got three bays here. That's good to know. Whoops, I gotta get out of the way right quick like. There we go. So, there's Lacewood Plaza, or Lacewood, Lacewood Center, Lacewood Center. And we'll double check what the other plaza is when I get back. Yeah. It might be called Clayton Park. Plaza. Good chance that's what it was. But we'll see when we get back. Then maybe now I'll know from then on, after having said it twice. Might do it. I just take a look, see how long I've been walking around here. It looks like, with the sun shining on the screen and everything, it looks like 36 minutes. Not bad. I think by the time I get back down in my car, we will be a little longer than that. <laughs> probably, probably 45, 50 minutes by the time I get back there. So we had a look at a couple of plazas and up here. And We can go down too many streets because a lot of streets there's not a whole lot on them. Many people's houses, about it. So we're gonna go right back down Lacewood. Oh, I gotta walk. Take it while it's there because it might not be there in a couple of minutes. 
It might be, don't walk. There's a big Irving gas bar right there. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, six holes we can drive through, which probably means about, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve sets of pumps in that place. Twelve sets of gas pumps. A lot of the gas bars don't have twelve. We got maybe eight, six, ten. Not very often to see twelve. Okay, the Lacewood Center, right there. There's a pet store in there too. Got to keep an eye on my camera here that I keep it down enough, not pointing up at the sky. We are at Regency Park Drive or Street. I couldn't tell from there. Drive. Regency Park Drive. I'm gonna walk. I don't have a walk sign, but I'm gonna walk. I got a green light. That's good enough. I won't cut over in front of this car. I'll let him do this. Do this thing and then I'll walk across. There, and let this one go and that one, and then we'll go. There's some of Killam's apartments. They're my landlord too, Killam. They own half a Halifax. Twenty-one Parkland Road Drive. Parkland Drive. Twenty-one. That's a nice building. When we were in Toronto, I lived on the ninth floor. We had two elevators, the building was I think 12, 12 or 13 stories high, and we had two elevators, and half of the time one was broke down, and hopefully there would be one working. They did a lot of work to the elevators there, but they worked good for a little while, and then they started acting up again, I don't know what it was. Maybe they didn't get to the bottom of what was really wrong. I don't know. I love high rises for one reason. Like when I went out playing music, I could put my stuff on carts, wheel it down the hall, wheel it on the elevator, wheel it off the elevator, go out through the doors, we push the button, the doors open, and right under a canopy, where we parked, we had a minivan at the time where we parked that. Right under the canopy, so it was raining. You didn't get your equipment wet at all. And it was no, no lug into it. You just carried it on the carts, wheeled it down, put it in. Put your, put your van, all you had to do was pick it up. Same thing coming home, drive it under the canopy, take all your equipment out, put on carts. I used to wait while my wife went and parked the van. Then when she came back, we had two carts. That way you take everything up on the carts. 
It's all easy living in a high rise when you play music, when you go out somewhere and take your stuff. Where we are now, we're on the third floor and there's only three floors and they don't have an elevator. So when I play music, I gotta lug all my stuff down the stairs, down another set of steps, put it in the car, and then go where I'm going and have to go all through that again when you come back. And I can tell you, if everyone hasn't lifted tube amplifiers, they're heavy. But they sound the best, that's my opinion. That tube amplifier sound better than transistor. I think so. But you have to handle them careful because you break the tubes and then it costs you a lot of money to fix it. Whereas transistor amps, I have one amplifier I had for about 15 years now. And it's transistor. And it fell off my cart once. And I don't remember if it landed face down or, or uh, on his back. But when I got in the house, I thought, well, I'll plug it in and see if it still worked. It still worked. That was like five years ago when that happened. And it's still working. They're a lot tougher than tube amps would be. But tubes are great sounding. You just get a sound you can't get out of transistors. Well, if you want to know what buses come up to uh, Clayton Park, there's a lot of them. 21, 28, 39, 30B, 137, 138, 136, and 70, and 73. That's how many buses come up through here. We'll be soon back to the bus terminal. Again, a lacewood terminal. And then I won't be too much farther back down to my, where I left the car. Now this would be that Canada Game Center that we looked at, and that's probably a swimming pool right there. But I could be wrong. There's probably other stuff in there, but just the way it looks like, it looks like it could be a swimming pool in this long part. Have never been in there. I find it hard to hold my camera 
it right straight in front of me. So I was like going over there, or over there. I don't want to make you dizzy. I try to keep it in a straight line if I can. Okay, the boss terminal is called Lacewood Terminal. And I think our plaza might be Clayton Park Plaza, but we'll see. Well, we're back to Radcliffe Drive. Oh, I caught that one just in time, didn't I? When I get back to the car, I won't be long taking this coat, let this uh, shirt off, because. I didn't need that really. Then I think after I get back to the car, put my equipment away, I'm going to take a drive over to Roby and Young and hang out there for a bit and have a coffee. That's what I think I will do. I'm going to change hands because I've been holding that a long time in my right hand. Maybe my left will be better now after cause my right hand needs a break. Because you're kind of holding your elbow at 90 degrees <coughs> or thereabouts. Yeah, about 90 degrees you got your elbow bent holding this thing. And after a while you're, you might get a little wobbly. Well, I can smell the diesel smoke out here all the way from into the the bus terminal. It's quite strong too. So we'll turn around, show you where the bus terminal is. Right over there. They just drive right in and right out, so it's pretty, pretty slick. Alright. Back down our sidewalk. I was out on the waterfront on the first day of summer. Made a video down there, check that one out because it's really beautiful that day. It was a nice warm summer day, the very first day of Canada, of, uh, yeah, the, of summer in Canada, in Nova Scotia. And I made a video down there, quite long. And so if you want to, you can check that out. And uh, I went on down by the the park they were renaming and uh, there was lots of native people down there and some some officials and they officially renamed the Cornwallis Park to if I can get it right I think it's love and friendship park or friendship and love whichever way it goes which that's a great name for that park Unfortunately, while I was down there, 
my phone got a little bit full, and I had to end it while I was trying to record the speech that they were making. So I was trying to cover that and record the speech, but I was unable to because I forgot to erase a couple of videos that were on my phone, and my phone got full. So I had to sign off right in the middle of the, the speech. So if you didn't see that video and I signed off while they were speaking, it wasn't to be inconsiderate of what was being said, because I agree with them with everything they said. I agree wholeheartedly. So, but my phone was full. I could no longer record. I barely got it in to sign off. So. My heart was in it, I wanted to record it, but that's how it went. I'm gonna get some shade now. Oh, that's better. The trees are hanging out over the sidewalk. Really nice here. I'm almost back to the plaza where my car is parked. That'll be good. I can almost taste that coffee I'm gonna get at Tim Hortons. Oh. I always say, coffee and music, that's the two things that keep me sane. My sanity is hinging on coffee and music. So let's hope it doesn't uh, ever be hard to obtain coffee or music. As is right now, music is very easy to obtain. You can just look on your phone and I carry my earphones around with me. And music is very easy to, to get. You can get all any artist you want on there on YouTube. YouTube music uses a lot less data than the YouTube videos. So that's pretty much where I go now. I don't really watch the videos unless I'm on a Wi-Fi or I'm home. And we're going to get another little shade. And then we're going to be back to the plaza. So I might as well keep on filming until I get back there. Let's see, how much time have I been now? 52, I'm gonna be under an hour. I usually run my videos between 50 and, and 58, 59. Once in a while, it gets over the hour by a couple of minutes. But that's usually where I run my videos. Sometimes they're short because the content is short and there's not much else to do. You have to make it short in order to make it. But normal video for me is about an hour. Nice little walk. And if you're sitting home, nothing to do, can't get out, maybe you're sick or, you know, you got a broken leg or some such thing, it's great to just watch somebody's video walking around and it's, it kind of feel like you went out and walked it. So I'm almost back here, which I'll be really happy because it's hot out. Any of my viewers in Halifax that want to meet me, I always say I'm open for, for conversation. You can come up to me anytime and, and talk, and, and I won't mind it. And I hang out at Tim Hortons on Young and Roby quite a bit, among other places, but that's one of them. The ferry terminal in Dartmouth outside you get a coffee and sit out there looking over the water. That's a beautiful spot. Ah, downtown Dartmouth on Portland. I go there sometimes. And the Tim Martin's on the south end, down by the train station area. 
I go to that one quite often. And also, I guess I go to the one down by the ferry terminal in Halifax as well, quite often. So there's my five coffee stops, my hangouts. Maybe it says somewhere here what this plaza is called. I think it's uh, Clayton Park Plaza, but it might be something with lacewood on it. Oh, I'm going to walk across. I got to walk. Okay, get right across. Get while the getting's good, as they say. I think we'll go out through here because my car is more up this way. And we'll take the we'll take we'll take the curve down. Oh, somebody's coming out. Oh, they're going that way, okay. That's alright. So I make my way back over to the car and uh, that'll be the end of this video. But if you want to hang in here for another couple of minutes, that's great. We can do that. I moved my car once, so <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can find it without too much trouble. Where I parked the first time quite a ways away, I thought it worked way over this way a little bit more. But I think I'm in this line right here somewhere. Could be the other side of McDonald's. McDonald's is right there. I think I might be on the opposite side, perhaps. Perhaps. And not altogether certain. So we're going to have to look for it, aren't we? I think I know where it is. I think I see it. We gotta go up through this way. Well, we'll walk down here now. I don't wanna get run over. So, confuse the drivers and they don't stop for me. Okay. I think it's up through here. In this part. So this is where we're gonna go. And hopefully, I'm right. All right, I know where it is now. I, drove, I was parked right here, and I drove out through there, came over this way. Which should be somewhere up in this area, another row or two. I'll be there. That only happened to me one time before downtown, and I was on the wrong road from where I thought it was. Didn't take long to find it, but it was out of sight for a little bit. Uh, I know where I am, I think. No, that's not mine either. Okay. I'm somewhere over in this neighborhood. <laughs> okay. If I don't find it, I'll sign off because I don't want to drag you all over the parking lot while I'm looking for my car. I can push the button and make it toot and see where it is. So, okay, on that note, I'm going to just sign off right here. And you all have a great day. And if you like this video, hit like. And if you're not a subscriber yet, I'd just love it if you'd subscribe. That would be great. And it doesn't cost anything, so just hit that subscribe button and... That'll make my day. All right. Bye for now. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.